You're watching UNICEF Television. Years of civil war in DRC has fenced progress in health and sanitation throughout the country. Today, half of the population of 66 million still has no access to a clean source of water. One out of five children under five suffers from persistent diarrhea. Moreover, the country faces an unprecedented cholera epidemic. Last year, almost 22,000 notified cholera cases have been reported. In response, UNICEF and its partners have prepositioned dedicated health centers to provide care for patients. For instance, in Maluku, a village close to the river separating DRC and Congo Brazzaville, UNICEF and partners have built a specialized center to respond to the urgency of the epidemic. In DRC, UNICEF goes further in the prevention of diseases. It fostered a national program that comprises a comprehensive package designed to help villages and schools become healthy. Using marketing techniques and community commitment, the Healthy Village program seeks to empower the villagers to take care on their own of their sanitation. The village of Mbimbi, 40 kilometers from Kinshasa, has recently obtained the Healthy Village status. The fundamentals of health and sanitation are now available for the population. A clean source of water, latrines, soap and ashes to wash hands. The villagers have elected a committee that regularly gathers to solve problems regarding the sanitation of the village. Nous nous réunissons chaque fois en tout cas pour parler de tout ce qui se passe dans notre village. We gather to talk about everything that goes on in the village, precisely everything related to water, sanitation installations, and see how the population handles the messages we deliver so that the village remains clean and sanitized. Pour que le village soit toujours propre, le village soit toujours bien assaini. Once a village is certified, UNICEF and partners regularly come visit the villagers to check if the message has been properly sent out. The main purpose of our visit here is to give a sense of responsibility to the community because they have to be in charge of their sanitation and that can only be achieved if someone comes to inform them on the importance of their actions. So we're here to accompany them and to raise awareness so that the community can fully seize the gains of this program. Because good health practices start at the youngest age, UNICEF extended this program to schools, creating the Healthy School program. In the school of Kikimi, the children are very proud that they have been awarded the Healthy School label. Among the pupils are several brigadiers, children in charge of verifying if the school is properly looked after. If I see that the classroom hasn't been swept, I order them to do it, or I do it. Even in the school's courtyard, I make sure the garbage has been picked up. The cleanliness of our school is very important to me, to help avoid diseases and help take care of the environment. Since the beginning of the program, more than 150,000 pupils benefit from the program and 1,000 schools have entered the process to become healthy schools. The objective of UNICEF is to attain 500,000 children in 1,000 schools for 2012. This is Edward Bally reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.